Skyblock Iron Man was added as an additional game mode type to Skyblock as a new interesting challenge based around the concept of not being able to interact with any other players or the economy. Because Skyblock has a fully functioning economy, the ultimate challenge is to play completely handicapped to this. Or is it? Because Skyblock players are Skyblock players, they will undoubtedly try to find a way to bypass this. And as you'll see in this video, many were successful. In this video, I'll be showing you how some players managed to obtain billions of coins on Iron Man profiles purely by abusing bugs and exploits to bypass the system. But before we get into the video, it'd mean a lot if you could quickly check to see if you're subscribed, because a lot of my returning viewers aren't actually subscribed. But anyways, enjoy the video. Iron Man profiles in general have been ignored for quite some time. It's pretty irrelevant, it's just a pointless challenge and an additional grind to what is already a very grindy game. But recently, a lot of players have been popping up with billions of coins of net worth or a very high skill average. And the main reasons are because of the transfer exploits that have been discovered. Although some players have grinded on Iron Man profiles since its release to get where they are today, most high net worth players have abused bugs. As far as I know or understand, most players do this because they think it's a flex to have a high amount of net worth on Iron Man profiles. However, personally I don't think it's really worth transferring to an Iron Man profile for a small flex just to restart your skills and lose access to the bazaar or auction house. In addition to this, I think it is manable to abuse these bugs because after all it is bug abuse and it's not the intended way to play the game. But anyway, a lot of you are probably wondering, how do they even manage to transfer coins and items to Iron Man profiles? After all, trading is disabled, and you can't just have your friend trade items to your Iron Man profiles, like normal profiles work. I won't be showing or explaining the working methods, as that would be advertising bugs, and my profile has already gotten wiped for that once, but I will include the patched methods. One of the patched methods was the use of presents. Although it wasn't as useful as some methods, it still allowed you to get skill XP boost potions, some useless minion skins and cosmetics, but most importantly, snow minions. In early Iron Man, you weren't able to open presents at all, not even the ones you were trying to gift to other players. This was a feature to prevent Iron Man players from being gifted a ton of presents from a friend, to obtain tons of free items, however, it worked both ways around. Because of this, snow minions weren't obtainable on Iron Man profiles. However, if you were to open presents with a friend on a default profile and not pick up any of the loot, you could then transfer to your Iron Man profile and pick up all the loot generated from the presents. This would allow you to obtain skill XP boost potions and snow minions like I mentioned before. But this method, although very useful, was very limited. What if you just wanted to transfer items and coins to Iron Man profiles? What if you could simply place items in a chest and then take them out on your Iron Man profile? Well, do you want to guess what another method of transferring items was? Exactly that. If you play dungeons, you might be familiar with a mushroom secret where you have to right click a mushroom, get teleported to a little room with a chest, and then get teleported back after collecting the secret. But because of how this room was connected to the server, it apparently worked a little bit differently. You see, with this chest, unlike any other, you could put items in it and take items out. And because it wouldn't make sense to disable the use of chests on Iron Man profiles, this was a very relevant way to transfer items. All you needed was a trustworthy friend to put all your items in that chest, and for you to take them out on your Iron Man profile. This allowed players to get pretty much an infinite amount of items from their default profiles to their Iron Man. You could transfer full talisman bags, armor sets, tools, weapons, enchanted diamond blocks to sell for coins, anything you could ever need simply by taking items out of a chest. I do believe this method also worked for double chest secrets with the same functioning, but that's besides the point. And apart from Iron Man, these chests also caused a few other problems. From what I've heard, these chests could not track interactions like trades did. Therefore, players could IRL trade or boost through the use of these without getting detected or punished. Luckily, however, this is now patched. And for the working transfer methods, I won't go into much depth, but it is rooted from the problem that claiming items from Jerry is not profile specific, which means items or coins stored in Jerry can be claimed on any profile. Time Dio actually showed this off in a video where he claimed a game breaker on his Iron Man profile. But like I said, I don't want to show off the exact method. But these are just transferring items to an Iron Man profile. 
What if you were to get an Ender Dragon pet, or even something like a Phoenix pet drop on your Iron Man profile and wanted it to transfer it back to your main profile? To do this, it'll require some game-breaking exploits, complex thought experiments, and a deep knowledge of human psychology. And a little bit of... Yeah, I doubt that'll ever get patched. Regardless, this entire situation just goes to show how far Skyblock players will go to play the game the exact opposite way as the admins intended, even if it severely inconveniences them.